All right, good day once again, everybody. Here is a new one here, another one, another BMW added to the collection here recently. It's This is the um, 2013 BMW M5, which is the F10 model. It has the V8 in there, 4.4 liter V8, uh, the twin turbo engine, so it's, a, uh, it's 560 plus horsepower. I had the opportunity to drive one of these cars when it just came out, and there's actually a video on the channel of me driving said car with, you know, same color. And everything I absolutely loved it I used to have the um, the E60 M5 back in the day and I sold that and uh, don't miss it I don't miss that yes the, the horrible MPG from the V10 engine you know when I, when I moved out here to California it was around five dollars a gallon I was spending like six hundred plus dollars on gas anyway this model is by Paragon it's a 118 scale model I took a chance on Paragon um, just to see what the quality is like and hopefully maybe I'll buy some more from them and so far I can say for the price I'm impressed I think I paid like 80 bucks for this one brand new I pulled some pictures of the car and the box and all that that it came in real high quality stuff um, I'll go ahead and show you what the engine bay looks like if I can actually get this open just one sec here we go all right, so this is the engine B. So, not too bad. I'll say I'm very impressed with how it looks for the price. Um, yeah, the paint is decent. It has the the 19 inch wheels instead of the 20. That, uh, that's an option for the real car. I'll go ahead and open this passenger side door. All right, so here we go. Interior looks pretty decent. Once again, I'll say I'm impressed with Paragon. Definitely not anything you're gonna make money on right now, because they're not, you know, not like auto art or anything, but that's pretty nice for the price. So yeah, the rear door is open as well. So what's cool in here is, as you can tell, there is actually some uh, iPad holders or whatever I guess this is this added screens they can add here on the real car so not bad also shows the rear ear conditioning in full detail all the seat belts are in there so like I said I, I am very happy with this purchase here and adding this car to the collection but this is the part I'm not too thrilled about but whatever the trunk doesn't open so that's kind of a letdown I was expecting the trunk to to open especially on this size car you know there's no reason why the trunk can't be open now I have even checked the bottom of the car to see if there's a screw or something on here for me to actually undo or whatever but there's there's nothing but like I said, overall, I'm very impressed. Let me know what you guys think. Um, also, if any of you guys have any other Paragon models and you guys recommend that I should get, I'm actually looking at the BMW uh, M4, thinking I should get one of those to add to the collection as well. Um, yeah, so let me know. You know, feel free to like, and you can share this video around to other diecast enthusiasts. And I'll go ahead and say that I do have a Facebook page called Jamstig Rare Diecast. You can go ahead and like the page and we can actually communicate directly and talk about models and whatever else we need to talk about automotive wise. And you, can, you guys can give me recommendations on which other cars you think I should add to the collection of diecasts. So thank you for watching and uh, keep posted. And yeah, we'll see you.